Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College. Now, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts in a few words, the uh, fire proximities. Uh, you, you remember the story of Elijah, I mean, uh, going up on the, you know, meeting the false prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, and, uh, you know, uh, the, he was teasing them and asking them to pray for fire and was the, and asking them let the fire come and all the things that were, I mean, associated um, with it. And you remember, Elijah prayed a very brilliant prayer. I mean, First Kings chapter 18 is always a very, very interesting chapter of scripture for me. First Kings chapter uh, 18 and tells the story of how Elijah prayed and fire fell from heaven and all the processes. But you know one thing, I'm always looking at not just the product, but I'm always looking at the processes that brings about the product. And so when somebody, I see a book, I like to see who wrote it, how was it written, what were the challenges the person met, what, what went on for that book to become a reality. I mean, those are the things I like to know. I'm interested in processes a lot. And so I'm looking, all of us remember, fire fell from heaven, yeah, and uh, we celebrate that, and we are so glad, I mean, that somebody stood up for the 400 prophets of Baal and belled them like nobody other person, and, and even ended up decapitating all of them. For me, uh, that, that is a very powerful story. But let's, 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 be, let's wait a little bit. Now, do you remember, now, Elijah had, you know, watched the prophets of Baal uh, pray. He had mocked them and all those things. When it was time for Elijah to pray and his turn to, do, to come and do his show, did you see what he did? He said to the people, come near me. Now, whereas the prophets of Baal were standing far off to do their own thing, Without the investment of the people, without the, you get it. But Elijah said, the people are not going to do anything, but he said, come near me. And that word, that, that come near me was, was very powerful for me. You, you know, these are people who have been worshiping idols. These are people who have been doing it. But Elijah wants fire to fall so much so that he, he tells them, listen, come near me. Let's. Let get, let's get together in unity. Let's stand together. This is not just my miracle. But I want each and every one of you to be part of this miracle. So come near me. Let us cross the divide. Let us cross that thing which separates us. Let us cross that thing which divides us. And he says, listen, come near me. Now, that thing Elijah, Elijah did was a little bit frightening. Because I have something I always say. The fire is always beautiful. The far is always nice. When people are far off, they look good, they are nice, they are all those things. When they come near you, then you stand the risk of seeing things you wouldn't like, smelling things you wouldn't want, or getting an experience from their closeness, from their proximity that you wouldn't like. Proximity brings risk. When Elijah said, come near me, he said, I know you may be of different persuasion. I know you may be of this thing, but listen, we need fire from heaven. And that fire we need from heaven, we need unity. We need blessing from heaven. We need rain to fall. And it is important that we come together. So he said, come near me. He's risking a lot because somebody might come near you and step upon your toe. Somebody might come near you and say something. Or somebody might come near you not smelling right. Or somebody might come, you know, and, and all those things. Here is the principle. The risk of closeness, the risk of proximity. Elijah said, I am ready to risk it all. Not for anything, 
but because you want fire. So now you remember in Acts chapter 2, for fire to fall, the Bible said all the people were with one accord in the same room. That's what brought the fire. The principle of getting fire from heaven, Elijah set the tone. That means no matter what we are, no matter who we are, we need to get together. We are in a place where our nation is, is going through a lot of turmoil. And you know, guess what? We need each other. It's one nation, one people, and one destiny. But for me, especially for those of us of a faith, Elijah said, come near me. And for sometimes families and businesses and whatever it is, Elijah said, come near me. So the risk of proximity, of proximity the dangers inherent in proximity. He said, I know, but I'm ready because I'm expecting a better fire, something much more better, something much more glorious. Now, sometimes we need to go beyond the barriers of our prejudices. We need to go beyond the barriers of our biases in order to settle at the same table that will bring fire, that will warm us and warm generations after us. So, you know, proximity and the dangers it brings. Fire, proximities, they help. Come near. Come worship with us. Come fellowship with us. God bless you.